Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. What do you get if you buy a cheap, I mean a really cheap 49 to 1 off of, let's say, eBay, Amazon, uh, AliExpress, or in my case, Banggood? How good is it? Well, we're not going to answer the last question today, but we're going to take a look at the physical aspects of one of these uh, 49 to 1 Anans from the Chinese marketplaces and see how well constructed they are. What do they look like in the, on the inside? What kind of materials have they chosen? Well, let's move on over to the workbench and take a look at this uh, Anand. And here we are at the workbench and I marked this with 49 to 1 and that's just simply a way for me to tell my uh, different kind of unons and balance apart. Uh, if you look at the outer casing here, it's made from pretty strong, well produced plastic. It's got an M5 eye bolt on top for hanging the unon. It's got a a little bit of a wing nut here, a connector for the uh, radiating element with a wing nut here. And it's got an SO239. So that's the outer aspects of it. And it seems pretty good. So let's open her up and see what's on the inside. And before we open it up completely, I just want to say that I bought this off of Banggood. And I think it was about 16 US dollars. I'll do an overlay here with the uh, Banggood uh, page for it. If you want to take a look at this yourself, there's an affiliate link down below. Um, that being said, I have not tested this yet with uh, a radiating element. I've not tested it at all. So I can't say anything about how good or how bad it performs. If we take a look at the inside here, First of all, if you look at the windings here, um, I posted a picture of this in the DIY section of the European Ham Radio Show Discord. If you want to join that Discord, the address is on screen somewhere around here. Um, it's uh, hamshow.eu slash discord. And it's not wound particularly good, but it's wound correctly. And the solder joints actually look legit they look good um but at the same time it looks like something a beginner would build and not necessarily something you would buy there's also another problem and that's this toroid here there is no way of knowing what kind of mix this toroid is so uh, we're not gonna know anything about its performance by just looking at it but it looks looks legit from what i can see looks like it should work uh, but there's a reason why i haven't tested this yet though and that's because it's been really really cold outside it's been uh around minus 20 degrees celsius uh, that's about zero degrees fahrenheit plus minus so uh it's been a little bit too cold to actually trim a wire to uh, to get a good reading out of this but once it warms up in a week or so um I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to trim a wire for it and uh, see if it works because you can never have too many balance. You can never have too many anons. Uh, there might be a different antenna you want to try at home. There might be a different antenna you want to try out portable. So you can really never have too much. And the reason I bought this is because if it doesn't work, I still got this hardware. I got the box. I got the M5 eye bolt. I got the hardware here. Um, I got the SO239. So actually for 16 US dollars, you get a halfway decent amount of hardware. And uh, you could just get a toroid yourself and uh, and wind a uh, wind bound and use the same box. So that's why I got this. I've been a little bit curious on how good does these Chinese on unbalanced perform. I've used a couple of nine to ones before with good luck. Um, and I've also used uh, a 49 to one, although a different design, a 49 to one in uh, what looks like a PVC pipe, actually. Um, I've used that with good luck. So uh, hopefully this will perform okay ish. 
I'm not expecting this to be the best Anon in the world, not by far, but I actually got some expectation of it actually working. Um, it's going to be exciting to see if it works or not. If you want to see how this works, you could actually subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and uh, just make sure you're notified when that video drops. And um, I even have the uh, wire ready for it. I cut cut a wire for 20 meters, so it'll be resonant on 20 and 10. I'm thinking this will be kind of a end fed halfway for those vertical occasions. We just want to have a vertical end fed halfway close to your car. So um, that is my initial thoughts on this antenna. And you've seen what it looks like inside. As I said, I bought this on Banggood for about 16 US dollars. Uh, there's an affiliate link down below. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this is a halfway decent. Uh, if not, if not, it'll be one of those. I bought this so you don't have to. Well, that's it for now. Thank you to all my supporters on Patreon, on all my YouTube members, all the people that have bought me a cup of coffee on Buy Me a Coffee. And thank you to all my viewers. You're really important to me. You're the reason I'm doing this. If you guys weren't watching my videos, I wouldn't produce this video. So thank you all. And uh, if you want to join the ham radio discussion over at the European Ham Radio Show Discord, you can join that at um, hamshow.eu slash discord. Link is down here somewhere. And... Um, there's also a link in the description. So that's it for now. Until next time, my friends, 7-3.